three years ago, a bird believed to be extinct was apparently caught on video, and one of the most sophisticated wildlife searches in history began. Well, welcome to St. Charles, Arkansas, and the uh, ivory billed woodpecker search, the great search. You know, as I'm sure you're aware at this point, this is uh, an unprecedented effort. In January, a dozen volunteers came from near and far to look for one of the rarest birds in the world. Millicent Phillips has been searching for two years. I just knew I wanted to be here. I wanted to be down here and I wanted to see this bird for myself. I wanted to be able to see it. I wanted to be in its habitat. If it does indeed still exist, the woodpecker is somewhere in the Cache River National Wildlife Refuge, where volunteers try for more than a glimpse of the elusive bird. How, do you guys, is there anyone who hasn't found the switch to switch it from video to still? Volunteers use cameras that take stills, video, and sound recordings. They also use GPS units and powerful binoculars to find the bird and pinpoint its location. Yeah, just give me a compass. Nick Davis is a marine wildlife specialist from Scotland. He's looked for the bird in Cuba and will travel to Florida to help the search there. When this opportunity popped up, I couldn't really miss it. I've always got three or four months to spare over the winter, so when I got accepted, I was elated and, uh, you know, I was booked on a flight the next day. If we don't find it, we've had a good go, you know, but uh, I'd love to think that this bird still exists in the southeast corner of the USA. But there's real hope among these people that 2007 will be the year that all doubts about this bird's existence are put to rest. And the job of studying and protecting the ivory-billed woodpecker will begin. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.